So we recently got the GTA Online Chop Shop update for G GTA Online. <laughs> but in this video, we're going to be focusing on one part of that update, and that is that there are actually animals now in GTA Online. Now, in the GTA 5 story mode, there's always been animals, but they've actually added them now to the online mode. So in this video, we're going to be going around trying to find some of these animals and um, going from there, really. Now, I'll quickly read through what Rockstar have said, and they said this with the newswire regarding this new update. Call of the world, animals in GTA Online. Los Santos has gone wild. Players on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S should be on the lookout for animals roaming the land, sky, and seas around Los Santos. Now, I did see a tweet of someone that found, I believe it was, was it dolphins or sharks or something like that within the sea? So, um, we'll take a look around and see what animals we can find. Now, this is exclusive to the expanded and enhanced version of the game this isn't on the older consoles and it's also not on pc which is pretty surprising because obviously pc is more than capable well most people's pcs are more than capable of handing an update like this but maybe one day we will get expanded and enhanced on pc there's no real way of numbing at the moment but as it stands the pc version is still similar obviously it's still better since you get the higher frame rates and better graphics but it's the same version as the older consoles but there we go here are some animals so they're in, yeah, they're in online now. They don't really, obviously, they don't really do much. They're just sort of here. I mean, they, yeah, you can, you can run them over if you wanted to. They're, they just sort of run around, and that's about it. They, obviously, you don't. It's not like Red Dead Two where you can properly interact with the animals. There are a couple hunting missions, I believe, in the story mode, if I remember correctly, with Trevor, I think. Um, but past that point, you can't really do all that much with animals. And this one's a bit, a bit stuck there, mate. But um. Yeah, I mean, they are, like I said, only on the newer consoles. But look, I mean, it adds a nice little, it adds a bit more immersion into the game overall. Uh, we'll get in a car and we can see if we can find some when we drive about. But yeah, they're in online now, so that's pretty cool. I think that is a nice little improvement. And we did get quite a few other improvements, which I'll talk about in this video as well. But um, the main idea was just to show off these animals, really. Uh, we'll get in a, what should we get in? We'll get in this little motorbike here so yeah let's go take a look around now in terms of what else we got in this update i haven't really done an awful lot covering this update to be honest since um it's not massive but um i didn't to be fair I'm, oh i didn't i wasn't even looking at my other oh i feel bad now i feel really i didn't mean to do that i this is why you look at the road or well the wherever the dirt when you're driving because um i looked away and um I feel very, very bad. That I actually feel bad now. I, Jenny did not mean to do that. Poor animal. Poor animal. But, um, yeah, that's the sort of thing you can do now in GTA Online. There you go. So, yeah, but, I mean, in terms of what else there is with this update, we obviously get the salvage yard. So, you're able to start a business. You can do a tow trucking service. And, oh, my God, I did it again, didn't I? Did I kill that one? I hope not. Did it survive? I think it survived. Okay. That's good. There we go. Cool. Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, another one gone. Man, I need, to, I need to look at the road. I need to look at the road. Um, yeah, we've got the salvage yard. There's also robberies you can do now with that as well. You can get a decent amount of money. There's quite a few animals around here, actually. And obviously, this is with a classic GTA 4 character, Yusuf Amir, which is really cool. And, um, yeah, that's the main part of the update. Then, in terms of other improvements, they're adding voice chat moderation to the game now. And, by default, the voice chat is off. So, um, and then, yeah, obviously, the robberies are part of that new business you can buy. And then, there is also some new vehicles as well. Quite a few new cars. And, you can also buy the police cars now, which is pretty cool. Um, I believe we can see those here. If we go on to the old internet. And, I assume they're on Warstock. There they are. Now, outrageous prices, may I just say. I mean, you know, over f four and a half million for a... That's crazy. Absolutely ridiculous. There's proper inflation going on here. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's... To be fair, it's pretty easy to get the, uh, the trade price there. Just collect one piece of evidence from a crime scene. But th those are the main bulks of the update. Then there's some GTA Plus bonuses, of course. And then there's also some core cool additions regarding cars in terms of movement and everything like that and new races there are now drift races in the game which is really cool and obviously that drifting mechanic most people are assuming they've taken from obviously they had that new acquisition with 5m recently 
So obviously using the resources that they've got and implemented those drifting mechanics into standard GTA Online, which is really cool to see actually, in my opinion, you know, things that the community have made actually proper features like that getting put into GTA Online, which I think is really, really cool to see. And um, yeah, I think it's a solid update from Rockstar. Obviously it's not massive, but I mean, we just got the, you know, the GTA 6 trailer recently. I wasn't expecting a massive update. Most of their resources now are on that game. But I think in terms of the overall update, it's pretty solid. There were also some improvements to the GTA Online interaction menu. It's changed a little bit. And you also can't, um, you, you can't, you can't end yourself anymore. That, that's, yeah, you, you literally can't do that anymore. So um, that it was quite a useful feature at times, but that is now gone. And, yeah, there's just overall quite a few quality of life improvements, which Rockstar seems to do quite a bit now with new updates. Um, obviously, a lot of it's next-gen, well, some of it's next-gen exclusive, like the animals, for example. And I've noticed quite a few birds are flying around as well. It's pretty cool. I do like the animals being in the online. It adds a lot more immersion to the game, in my opinion. So that's good. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this update down in the comments below. But I think overall, this Chop Shop update is pretty solid. I don't really have many complaints. Of course, you could maybe, some people might want there to be more. But, I mean, I guess you could argue that. But I think, you know, there's a new business in the game. That's pretty good. And in terms of what they did add, I think it's all good stuff. It's all positive. I don't think there's a negative to the update, really, in my opinion, in terms of what's actually there. And I think content-wise, it's not that bad either, since at the end of the day, we got a new business. And, I mean, GTA Online, we've had a lot of updates for the game. And, you know, GTA 6 is a new, new, new kid on the block. So the main focus is there now. But I think it's a really good update. And I don't really have many complaints. And I like the animals being in online i think that's pretty cool and that's about it really that is the gt online chop shop update now of course they are going to add more we're going to get the festive update soon it might even be very very close to releasing by the time this video is out and that will be good for gta online in fact it might be actually no, it probably won't be out by the time this video is out but you know we'll get the snow and there's also going to be a new snowball launcher i've seen which is pretty cool and that you know that time the festive season in gt online is always solid and, um, yeah, there's some new, obviously, some new clothing, some new rewards, everything like that. Standard stuff that we always get. And, I mean, all in all, pretty solid. There's also a new weapon, a battle rifle, which you can get at the weapon, that van, the weapon van, whatever it's called, somewhere, wherever that is. You can get that there. And, um, yeah, I mean, I, I personally don't have any complaints, but I, like I said, I'd love to hear thoughts on this update down in the comments. But the main focus is that there's animals now in GTA Online. As you can see, there's some birds flying around. And yeah, it's really cool. Adds a bit more immersion to those next-gen consoles and just a nice little feature. But yeah, let me know down in the comments what you think of this GTA Online Chop Shop update. But like I've said, personally, I'm a big fan. And yeah, that does just about wrap up things here for this video. On screen now, you are seeing a link to a different video. Hit the link on the screen if you are interested in watching that. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.